hello welcome back to our uh, meme course or in English previous session to install SQL and the one before is to show you what are the prereq for today we're going to just run through the meme installation so I have it already copied to the my local installation and I've joined the machine to the domain so let's run it for today's session we're going to only basically uh, install the sync and you can see we got a portal, we got a certificate management, and we got a password reset. So I'm just going to go to the sync and run install. And I've created all the UCFS account on part one. So here it will be, you can utilize it. At later on, later stages, we can utilize other services with different CFS accounts. So let's have a look. We got our SQL locally running on this server. The machine is part of the domain. So periodically, this should be ready for the main installation. Microsoft Identity Manager, Synchronization Service Setup Wizard. Next, except if you would like to change the partition or directly to this different than C drive, then feel free. I'm just going to keep it, leave it a C drive. Next, uh, local computer installation or remote computers, up to you. Mine is local machine. Same thing with SQL. In your, in your scenario, it will be maybe a remote. Next, here we go. I've got an ETFs account, SRV, I think, uh, underscore min, I called it. And if it's wrong, we'll have a look. Domain is IT Landy. Next. And these are the basically group names Microsoft Sync Service will be utilizing. In this scenario, uh, I prefer not I prefer Microsoft. Recommend to put these groups on the domain, but you can have them local installed as well. So it's up to you. Preferable is domain. So let's next enable firewall for inbound communication. If you choose to, I'm gonna leave it disabled. It's a test environment. Next install and. Uh, you get a warning message 25051 Microsoft Identity Sync Service evaluation account is not secured in the current configuration, so we need to do the we'll talk about that later on. It's a domain account, which means you need to make sure we can secure it and we can basically um, either using the Kerberos with this account, service account, making sure service account they cannot uh, log on to the machine, to the server, they are only to run the service. So we can apply some best practices, plenty of recommendation from Microsoft and the forums around what you're supposed to do with these service accounts to make sure you do not face any issues at later stages. Yeah. So it shouldn't be straightforward the installation of the service account. Uh, sorry, Microsoft Identity Manager Surface uh, Sync Surface. Let's see what happened now. And it's nearly there. It could be my machine a bit slow, but we'll have a look. I'm just uh, maybe. It shouldn't take that long usually. Uh, I'll keep it for like uh, a pause and then come back to you. Here we go, we are nearly there. It's installing the surface, and it will basically uh, should finish after that. Okay, let's 
Do we need indexing? Add new view there. Go into update. And nearly there. And you'll see now that's supposed to be faster. Hello, and here we go. We got some nearly there. Uh, what happened to the sink? It will be promoted, select folder, file name, pop backup, and Microsoft Identity Manager Sync Service. Evaluation copy will now create a backup file of encryption key and you can save it uh, somewhere. Um, you know, I prefer to put it on uh, its own dedicated folder for recovery if needed. So, this environment, I'm gonna dump it here on the same folder and I call it uh, backup score key and you can save it whatever you want yourself, but I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, backup key for the sync and save and that should be it you have just realized and that's all basically so a quick recap you need to restart let's get restarted uh, just recap what we have done so far we just installed the sync surface on a MIM and the previous series we installed SQL and the one before we joined the machine to the basically uh to the domain so let's go have a look log on and see what we got okay. so i'm just going to log on to the domain if you recall we added that ac account we gave it permission and the reason why if you recall part of the sql installation we've added it but i've just realized my domain controller was down that's why i was not able to log on through the domain and we use a local installation but now it should be fine we log on and let me just show you Okay, and I've got my SQL. Where's the SQL? 2014. And you can see there uh, config. I'm just after the management. Here we go. And just to show you if we are able to utilize the account, the domain account with SQL, you know. So you can see the database name and it's using admin with domain. And previously we had an error message, but now we are able to log on and navigate through our SQL. We will do more with the SQL later on. I'll just show you what database you can see there, the theme synchronization database, which is what we have installed just now. We only installed only one I one uh, I would say tool, and later on we will do the portal, we will do the password reset, we will do the other, you know, services of them. So minimize that one, close it, we don't need to acquire it. Let's we just have a look at the sync. And we'll see, here we go. Key management and the sync surface. So this is the enable to connect. It is possible because it's not started or the account is not member of the right group. So I, s I can, because we installed on different account, let's we have a look and see if we need permission. And we go to the computer. Let's we have a look at local accounts, groups, them admin, and we do not have it there. So let's we just give it permission. Plus called admin. Part of the domain. I'm dropping into that account. And uh, let me just give it permission because we we need it later on to do different activities, setting the others. So I'll do it right now and later on we can use it okay and that should be fine i might need to log up and log in again just to be able to run it so let's we just go there and again let's we just log off we just added it and sign out and sign again again let's see if that works this time so we logged on again after adding the account. Let's go to the services and run it this time. We just added it to the local 
right or the right group admin mem admin group to be able to run it. and here we go and you can see it is blank and empty we're gonna walk through these later on but for today it's also only about installing the you know sync tool and that's all basically a quick recap we just install it with a local uh, account and uh, we give it permission and now we've got the sql database already installed so later on we will start doing the customization here and we're going to create different management agent you know for different activities you can see that few of them here ad oracle ldap novel and the rest so that's all for today thank you for watching and goodbye